Hey guys, what's up? You will need four different files in order to flash the pixel dust in your Poco F1. First, you will need the latest firmware, then the ROM package. Third file you will need is the nano gaps. I'm using open gaps. You may even use the gaps if you want. And the fourth file, which is optional, is disable force encryption. Even though the encryption is already disabled in pixel dust, but to be on the safe side, you should make this habit of flashing disable force encryption after every clean flash to avoid encryption. So guys, let's reboot to recovery and flash this latest pixel dust in our Poco F1. When in recovery, go to wipe and go to advanced wipe and wipe Dalvik cache, cache, system and data. If you see vendor, then wipe it too. No need to wipe internal storage. Swipe to wipe. Now go to install and navigate to all of your files. Now select the firmware, select the ROM and then select the gaps and fourth which is optional select the disable force encryption the dfe that i'm flashing comes with magisk swipe to confirm flash all of the files have been successfully flashed now it's time to reboot and check if this os boots up or not here you can see the boot animation of pixel dust it's a simple logo of android Okay, ROM has been booted up successfully and somehow if you are stuck in boot animation then force reboot your ROM by holding the power button for a few seconds. After the setup the first thing you will notice is this wallpaper of pixel dust and if I go into app drawer you can see that we have only a few apps in the app drawer because we had flashed open gaps nano and if you can remember I had flashed disable force encryption that comes with magisk and that's why we have magisk in here. And that means Magisk is not included in the ROM, so you will have to flash it separately in order to get root access in your device. Talking about the launcher, you are getting Pixel Dust launcher out of the box. The launcher is equipped with few customizations you can play with, so no Pixel Launcher or Launcher Launcher. In the settings, about phone, and you can see that my Poco F1 is running Pixel Dust ROM, which is a calf based ROM and it has the security patch of May so sadly you are not getting the latest security patch of June but it's acceptable as it is a CAF based ROM and CAF based ROMs have generally older security patches as compared to ASP based ROMs talking about the general performance because this ROM is CAF based guys ROM is super smooth and fast I didn't notice any lag or stutter or whatsoever while opening apps, switching apps and multitasking now let's talk about customizations. Guys this pixel dust ROM is full of customizations. Even though this is the first build of pixel dust and on the top of that it is a calf based ROM. And calf based ROMs have generally limited customizations and few of them don't even work at all. But the case is different with this pixel dust ROM. Each one of the setting is working fine. And you also get to see the new recent style which is called slim recent some users do love slim recent so this is for you guys so you can enable it if you want but there are few settings missing like if you go into quick setting you don't actually have the option to enable the blur in qs background and second if you go into status bar and then the status bar item you don't actually have the option to enable the small type icon you do have option to switch from LT to 4G or, or 4G to LT but there's no way to turn them small. I hope you know what I mean. And here comes the most interesting part of this video. Let's play PUBG. So guys I installed KF Mark and what it actually does it enables the FPS meter you can see right here. So what it is actually doing it's just showing the FPS meter or you can say the actual performance of game. It is not analyzing or recording the gameplay so yep there are no extra frame drops. And guys you can see that the gameplay is super smooth. And yes it's true that I did notice few stutters and minor lags but yep there were no major lags and the whole experience was smooth and game was playable at most of the time. So 
and at some point I enabled the recording in KF Mark. It actually does not record the gameplay, it just analyzes each frame and then it creates some sort of performance chart like this one. And according to this performance chart, the average FPS that I got is 54. The lowest FPS I got is 37 at this point and this area represents the low and high FPS that I was getting during the gameplay. But the whole experience was smooth and game was pretty much playable. You can ignore this region because this is where I turned off the game and that's why it dropped all the way to down. Okay guys that's all for this video, leave a like, subscribe my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. See you guys in my next video.